All set? Yep. All right, good evening, folks. We're going to call the meeting to order here at 7.02. Uh, first uh, on the agenda, we'll rise and do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ready? <clears throat> well, I, I'd first like to uh, thank Glenn Shaw and the audience. He served three years as our previous police commissioner, so thank you, Glenn. Okay. And I'd like to welcome Mickey Ralph and Glenn Spice. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so the first order of business is to nominate a chairperson. I'd like to nominate Dave again. He's been doing it for a number of years. He does a great job, and if he's willing to take it, put up with us, yeah. I'd uh, love to have him. Sure. Yeah. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, that was an easy one. Okay, so we, uh, Dennis, uh, <clears throat> Mickey wasn't here. You prefer Mickey or Michael? Yeah, either one. Whatever. Okay. Uh, he wasn't Thank here, you. so it's between you and I on the minute. Yeah, I, and I've already read them. Uh, I don't have an issue with them. I'll uh, uh, motion to accept as presented. Okay, I'll second it. And all in favor? Aye. Okay. Okay, I'll give you this uh, signed copy. Well, okay. All right. <clears throat> Moving along here. Uh, Chief, it's your, your time at bat. We had uh, 763 calls for service in March. Yeah. Six arrests, zero for release. Nice. 763. Wow, call. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, the offer to build a school evacuation jail will be in September, not in May. Okay. That, that did start in the new school year. Yeah. Okay. And we have a drug take back uh, on April 28th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. here at the safety complex. Yeah. We had some vandalism on uh, uh, Pasture Road and Hookson Road the same night that uh, Oh, there was there's not only on my road. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And kids pranks. And there were like five cars broken into in the spruce lane button, whatever. And those sorts of things. But uh, the alert was put out to the name of the watch room. Yeah. Other than that, everything is status quo. Any questions for the chief? No. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. Thank you, chief. Up to you, Lieutenant. Uh, we did our simunitions training, which was at the police ca academy. We did half of it last month. We're doing a second group of people tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, I'll go on the police academy to do the simulations training. That that should get our use of force training ahead of the curve, which we usually wait till the summer. But we should be yep. in good shape this year. Yep. Uh, I talked to you guys last month about we're doing a pistol transition for our new pistols, but it's probably going to happen obviously in April instead of March because of the snow. So yeah. I told you guys last month we we're going to try to do it in March, but I think it's going to and be And we're March. trading in the old ones as well, right? Right. Okay. So we're going to be training with our new ones. Okay. Uh, the county has turned on the new antenna system, which they told us there was going to be no issues, but there have been a few issues. Uh, we had to pay to have all the portables reset. Uh, so we had to have a company come out and reset all the portals. They changed. I'm no radio expert by any means, but uh, they changed some kind of modulation and a thing, and they had to come and change the software inside. Everything's a computer now, right? It's just the radios are the same as a phone. So they had to reset all the, the computers in the portables. Uh, we were told you didn't have to do that to the car radios either, but that turns out that's probably not the case as well. Uh, we've had one radio in the cars reprogrammed like the software and it works way better than the other one so we're going to have to have somebody else come out and do all the, the radio. So Are you, you might bringing see, them up to that place in, in Meredith or do you uh, have somebody come on site? We brought one as a test to, to write up and I think it's Ossipy. Yeah, uh, Ossipy. And now they're going to come and do the rest all of the right. cars because we have a whole bunch of cars there. Yeah. No. But, uh, but you may see some bills for that. For the, okay, we, we pay for that, not the county. We pay for that. Right. But you're not, not going to, what I was saying, that way you don't have to drive all the way to Austin exactly and right. spend a day we of labor. The, we had the one so, car, we drove yeah, the one out. So they now. tested it's going to work, now they're going to send some people here and do it all while they're here. Exactly. All right, perfect. So that should be done by the end of, end of, end of next week, yep. and then supposedly our radius will be at like 95%, which is the best you're going to get. Yeah, okay. The one we had done is really, is really good. What the new so, we heard that. Yeah, but yeah. the one we did have good. updated Sounds is really good. working pretty yeah. effective. A better reception in those bad spots. Yeah, significantly better. No, we'll terrific. see what happens. Uh, computers. We've uh, 
been talking with the town a little bit. Our computers, every car has a computer. We have seven total computers. The, the, the tough books. Right. Okay. One is not a tough book. One's a mobile data thing or whatever. It's a separate one. Okay. Uh, we're thinking of phasing out the tough books over time, kind of like we did the radios and the portables. Two of the tough books, the touch screens have stopped working, and we tried to upgrade some of the phone cards, you know, the air cards that yep. go in them, and they don't work with the new air cards because the new air cards have just been made these, radio, these computers were made in 2010, which just like your home computer, yep. if you got a computer in 2010, it's 2018, mm -hmm. you can't I would keep upgrading the hardware, it just doesn't work with it. Yep. Well, the but, eight, uh, tough books are about eight years old, because I was on the budget committee when we right. approved those, right. and that was before I became a commissioner, that's at least seven years right. ago. But we're going to look to later in the year, we see how we're sitting money-wise and everything, and then we'll come back with a proposal to you guys about exactly what they cost. What each radio, what each computer entails. Did we budget for that, Ray? Or we, oh. no, not for particularly for. We have for some that, computer yeah. money, but not yeah, we have, for we that. Are not the laptop. But yeah. we could probably adjust some of the radios and the, yeah. the okay. other computer money. I mean, we've got a we've got a good amount on the computer services. Um, right. On the uh, and then uh, might there be some grants or anything available? The grants will purchase new computers for cars that don't have them. Just oh. like the radars. Once oh. you get a radar, you can't get a new radar because you have, even if the other one's 15 years old. Mm -hmm. So we'll look into it, but my understanding yeah. is you cannot get another yeah. second grant because they already gave you one. Do you have a rough idea what one tough book might cost about? I'm guessing about $3,000. 3000 And we got seven. <laughs> We have seven. 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 One of the, the one, one that's not need to be replaced. So you would you would need seven, but you don't have to have. And them we all wouldn't do it all in one. Our plan would never be to model. Yeah, like probably over time, time, like we've done. done. Yeah, yes. at least yeah. two that are. And are we gonna stick with the tough books? This the other guys seem to like the two part computer better. So probably not. We probably okay. have prices on both and see if it's a significant difference. Because I was seeing that in other places where they're, right. they're getting. What, what's the name of that uh, competitor? I forget what it is, but you don't see the tough books. No. Are you using that in right? Uh, they're switching okay. over, yeah. I mean, I, I, I see the uh, bruises, yeah. different yeah. equipment. Okay. We'll get the names and everything. Yeah. All right, right, so that's going to be a good you know, project through the summer right. Right. and try to work that out. And who knows if we got you know, extra money in a line and that we were, right. had less expenses, we might be able to right. the, uh, spend a couple. There's a health fair coming up at the Auburn Village School. That's April 6th. And they asked us to do two different exhibits there. We have one on OHRV safety and one on our juvenile program at the school, the LEAD program. So that's April 6th okay. uh, at the school. So Who, who's going to be representing the department there? Uh, Chris, Calvin, oh. Jason, Glantiel, and good. Lil. Jason's yeah. a good one because he's a water work guy. Right, unless we figure he knows something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's saying no. She is no. Uh, she doesn't know yet. I didn't mind the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, last thing is, uh, two new cruisers are in. We picked them up yesterday, uh, today and yesterday, and now we're going to get them all outfitted. So that'll be coming in the next couple months. Well, next month, hopefully, we'll get yep. the stripes put on and get the equipment turned over. Uh, but that was way earlier than we normally do. Usually, we don't get them until May or June. Yeah. But uh, we kind of ordered them earlier this year. Through Irving up yeah. in Laconia. Yep. Okay. And then the other two will go. We're going to turn we'll in the other two. I think to the town's town. looking uh, to try to auction them at the state auction. I think they're going to try one at the Sorry about that. at the state auction and see how that works out. I think it's a pretty pretty good idea. Yeah. And we'll see how, how they do. Okay. And that's it. Any questions for the lieutenant? No. Anybody? Any questions? Okay. Neighborhood Watch. Hello there, Steve. Hey, good, Dave. Good. Um, nothing new. Like I said, it's been pretty quiet as far as burglaries go. We did have the notification that came out on Nixel on the uh, vehicles that were broken into um, on Spruce and uh, Buttonwood. Uh, we got those. Hopefully, we got all that information out to everybody. I think all the other readers got it. I copied them on the one I sent out. Um, and uh, pretty much that's it. I, other than the fact, I think we're supposed to have some training in the next. But that's that's dependent, I think, on. I think is that still going to happen, do you think? Or We're maybe? still shooting for that sometime. The average training oh, yeah. is slated for um, later in April. I'm not sure if we want to change okay. that. I'm, I'm open even for a later date if that needs to be. So, okay. But either way, I'm fine with it. I'll um, talk with the fire chief to see kind of what we need for the kickoff and the training and kind of go from there. Sounds great. Other so, than that. Friday night, my neighborhood, two neighborhood sign 
signs were uproot, you know, somebody pulled them right out and threw them in somebody's driveway. So uh, we'll get those re, uh, reinstalled. But do you have any uh, needs for any other signs? Because uh, uh, I heard that there was something on Facebook that somebody was looking for a neighborhood watch sign in their neighborhood. So I didn't know if you had Oh, really? No, if, I have, we I do. I, I, I had talked to Lil. Yeah. We can use one on Bunker Hill Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe, you know, maybe we should, you know, see if there's a, I don't know if there's a way to put out a message to all the neighborhood watch people. If you don't have a sign, why are you interested in one? And we'll do an inventory on what we have and what we might need and go with that. I'll and and replace the two signs that were taken out in my neighborhood. And uh, probably get a slew of how we've been doing with signs other things. than the two that happened in my neighborhood. They've been pretty well yeah. staying in the same place. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mike, have you been installing? Uh, Taken well, outside. We haven't been putting them all up for a while. No, since they got them Yeah, pull them out. Just pull them out. They run them over. Uh, no, pull them out. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, they're not bent at all. Oh, no, no. We so, have a lot of inventory. Right? What's going on? We have a bunch of inventory. I don't know. Usually, I'll take care of it. Yeah, yeah. no. You have a sign here. I got posts and stuff, but. I noticed a lot of times they we grease them up. <clears throat> I know the one I walked across. <laughs> I have some. Right. Okay. So maybe by the next meeting, you know, maybe if you could put a word out if somebody's interested, if we, if we missed the street or if there's some that have been misplaced or whatever, and you could figure out how many we do have. And Mike, you got plenty of poles, right? No, I'll get them at the, the prison. Okay. They got plenty of help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one other thing I can add is, uh, I guess there was a uh, somebody who had called in to Melissa. I, I don't know if it was off of the uh, bulletin that goes out of the town bulletin or the town crier, um, asking to uh, join the neighborhood watch. So okay. hopefully we're going to start getting people yeah. calling yeah. in. And, that. that's, and that's a separate, that's a separate little advertisement in the town crier, separate right. from the police report. So it doesn't get doesn't look like the same thing. So just like an ad that somebody puts in there, it and it's a, it's a half-page ad, and, and it's very nice, and it'll alert the new residents that we do have the neighborhood watch and sign up. It looks, it looks, you know, it looked great, and the fact is that you know, just get the word out. There isn't any, you know, real commitment other than using your eyes. If you see something, you make a phone call. Yep. So you know, anybody that's here present here that would like to join the neighborhood watch is not presently a member. Mm -hmm. All you do is you, you receive notifications, and if you see something, call in. So, so All right. join. Any don't questions? get a sign, Mike, unless you join. Yep. I did just call the police. Mike. No, you're going to call the neighborhood watch. Members get priority. But you didn't call the police. <laughs> get rid of the middleman. <laughs> okay. Any uh, questions for Steve Granger from the no. neighborhood watch? Great, thanks. Any, thanks. any questions? Steve. Thank you, Steve. Okay, let's uh, take a look, uh, guys, at the 2018 budget. So we're 25%. Uh, of course, I'm sure there's still the last one or two weeks of March that aren't in here. That was all the way up until 28. the 28th. 28th? Okay. So uh, we've used 20% of our budget, and one fourth would be 25%. So, so far, we're off to a good start. Looks like it to me. You see where I'm looking at that on the next page on the bottom line? Right there, it tells you how much we got left. Yeah, we got, we're up a bit. And, and obviously it goes with what Ray was telling us on oh. computer, computer yeah. services, radar and radio maintenance are yeah. all at 50%. 52% on, on computer That's probably services. Yeah. because of what you've been yeah. talking about. Yeah. We're going to see those continue to track faster than the, the normal burn rate. Right. Subscriptions, that's an annual thing that just yeah. happened to write the check. So and yeah, and that's always IMC, not a... IMC, our, you know, the cruiser program that yeah. comes out of there and I pay that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everything else. Do you have any questions on the budget, maybe? No. No. It's perfect thing itself. Okay. At least. Um, so looking good. Yeah, overall we're right where we want to be. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. And uh, we're up to our last thing. Does anybody have any new business to discuss with the commission? I have a couple things that I want to add All right, to here. Yeah. What I see moving forward mm -hmm. this year. Uh, one is I would like to uh, see the uh, drug and alcohol testing, random drug and alcohol testing policy implemented. We'll talk about that over the year. Uh, another thing I would like to see is uh, a GPS in the cars. And number three, whoops, excuse me, I'd like to see that gone. I don't, I don't think we need that. I checked on it. We had 38 hits last month. We've had 27 hits in February 
and 60 in January. I don't see any use for that. You too. Um, Hold on, you said drug and alcohol testing, yep. random? Random. Yeah, okay. For GPS, everybody. You like to have GPS and vehicle? For everybody. No, everybody. Just for everybody. I oh, mean, on the, on the police vehicle, yeah. not there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, what was the other thing? YouTube. Oh, the camera? Yeah. The camera shot? Oh. Yeah, yeah, kind of. This is my 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> yeah. Um, Um, another thing I would like to see is a clean copy of the Tideview report out to public. And that'd be enough for now. We got some more stuff, but we'll we'll do that for now. That's. I agree with you on a couple of things. Uh, drug and alcohol testing, I, I think, would have to be part of the union when we renegotiate with the unions. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I don't know when uh, when that contract is up. Uh, I Are think we got a second or a You guys must know, is it? 2018, it's due to be. 2019, so we're going to start. Oh, actually, we'll start this fall, maybe. This is yeah. 18, right? <clears throat> uh, Does it expire in the no. spring of 19? Or March of 2019. Yeah, so we would start at the end of the summer. At the end. We're gonna. We'll be starting uh, negotiations. Believe it or not, I have to do it for my commercial license. Uh, so I, it's, it's fair to. Yeah, we could bring that up when we re when renegotiate we our union contract. contract. Yeah. Um, I, I'm just gonna hit on a few GPS and vehicles. I think we see it more and more. I know they have it in Rye, and I can look into how it's done. I don't think it's that difficult to uh, to get GPS units and vehicles and. The software keeps track of where they are during the day, and if you need them, you know, who's coming from where and what they're up to. What does something like that cost? I'll find out. I mean, he's just bringing these things up, so no, I just we'll we'll address it. Yeah, I time. mean, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Over the All right. So yeah, on the GPS, I don't think he's looking to do anything tonight. No. No. On the GPS, we're, we're going to have to figure out. You got seven or eight vehicles, at least. Uh, well, seven, I believe, coming coming the uh, unmarked probably seven or eight GPS, we'll have to look at what that's going to cost mm -hmm. as a cost and, you know, figure that out. A lot of times I think it operates right off the computers with oh, the air cards. So oh, it, I think it's... Oh, like you say, it won't? Yeah, usually it's just getting the software to be able to see mm -hmm. see where your car is because mm -hmm. okay. well, everyone could have waves and look at it that way. Yeah, but yeah, that's, I don't yeah that is, yeah. Okay. It's a big deal. What's your opinion on the camera, Dennis? Well, I was never, you know, I, was, I wasn't overly enthused about it. I'm, I think I'm as camera shy. I think the numbers don't show it's a huge use, so I think uh, maybe next month we'll carry it on the agenda and take a look real okay. closely. Let me it. ask Ray. Ray, I had to ask you to take a take a look at the, the, the viewings of the last three months, January, February, March yeah. of our meeting. And, uh, I just looked yesterday. It said 38 for... March. Oh, 38 for March. Yeah, yep, 27 for February. Mm -hmm. I had 61. It's 60 in uh, <laughs> January. It was on the, the yeah. home. The January one. I had 60, February was like 37, and March I had 61. Maybe I read it, got the thing wrong. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was, we, on, it was on that. We the can time, certainly discuss it at our next meeting and take a vote on it myself. Okay. I, I thought it was nice for people that aren't able to come to the meetings, they can see it. And uh, go ahead, Steve. Uh, I've actually gotten feedback from s some of the members of the uh, Neighborhood Watch that are not able to be, come down and attend the meetings. They said they actually appreciate the cameras. Ray, could you double check those figures so again for the next meeting for January, February, March, and see? The 60 is a good number. 60 is really not a bad number. I'll tell you what it is. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I was going to say. What What is a good number? I don't know. I don't mean. I mean, we had 200. Well, I mean, I, I don't look look at the, talk to the town, and what do they get hits on their their sites? Uh, well, we're the only one filming. Yeah, but they have other stuff. I'm oh. just wondering how many how many people use computer access. I don't know. But we're not we're not going to do anything tonight. I don't no, believe. No, no. We no. can we can put this is put that on the agenda. The camera, yeah. Um, tie view. Is it Tidewater? Tide Tidewater. Tide yeah, I think it's certainly something that now that you're a commissioner, we'll have to discuss. 
That we'd have to do in uh, non-public. Non-public. Yeah. Non-public. So we can't like discuss it yep. ahead of time. So we'll go in non-public and we can discuss that. Um, I'll bring up something that I had brought up previously that I'd like to see and I, and I can get some information on. Is it just a final review from MRI on all the work that Ray's done on the 111 updates that we did to the operations? Just as a final check on that, I brought that up last year. I, and see what that will cost. Oh, because for them to come back and check what yeah, we did? Yeah. Yeah. That would but be, I'll get a number before, so that when we well, do discuss then it. Then they'd have to do that, to me, to be fair, they'd have to do it at the fire department and the town. They're not right care. at That's all. fine by me. I think they should go go back on everyone and say, once you finish, yeah. let us take one last Yeah, look, well, that should, it should, be, it should be town wide. It's yeah. a town hired MRI yeah. to do all three sections yeah. of the town. That like should be. what they did for everybody, and I, I think yeah. the final sign off is good. That, that might be something the selectmen can deal with. So, um, what we what we typically do, Mickey, is get for the next agenda. You get any information you have, any backup you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let Dave know, and Dave yep. gets it put on the agenda. Yep. And then we can discuss it at that point. Um, so the, just just to make sure for the next agenda. The drug and alcohol testing, and we're going to put that on the back burner until we get into union negotiations. Good. Okay. Yep. The GPS, somebody's going to have to research how much that's going to cost. Mm -hmm. uh, if it costs, may, may, maybe not, may not be very much at all. Uh, the camera thing, we can we can discuss it and vote on it next meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And the clean type view, we're going to have to go in non-public. We can go in non-public next meeting, and I'll put it at the very end of the agenda. So, so you folks them, can yeah. have your meeting with us, and the public will adjourn, and then we'll do our non-public after. I know sometimes I go, I've been to meetings where they do the non-public right away, and you all got to wait and go outside. And since I can choose that, we're going to do it at the end. Sounds okay? Good. So, good. Uh, and uh, the final review of MRI, that is something we're going to have to send a I'll, message to Bill Herman or the... Well, I can get a cost from them because I'm working with them on some other things. Too, okay. So. So you're going to take care of that. That's yeah. really not, I won't really put that no, on the agenda. That's fine. That's something. I'll get information and then I'll let you know. Okay. And you can put, okay. it, so, put it on so, the agenda when I have something. So, so for next agenda, we're going to have, we're going to discuss and vote on GPS and vehicles or get all the facts, the cameras, mm -hmm. and uh, and we're going to go in a non-public at the end of next month's meeting and discuss the tide view report. Okay? And the MRI stuff, you're going to work off the record with uh, Bill and the selectmen. Okay. Anything else, folks? Yeah, I got one thing oh, that was an minute. article uh, in the Union Leader about um, some legislation on police details, which I don't want to get into because I think everyone knows how they feel about police details. Mm -hmm. But what was in the on, and I only saw it online because someone drew my attention to it because they know that I'm interested yeah. in this legislation. And and one of the side pictures was an Auburn police officer. I don't know if any of you saw it. And he was doing exactly what he was supposed to be doing. He had the sign out, um, and I, I was very encouraged when I saw saw that they used us as the example, the good example. Oh, well, there was an article was in the union leader this morning. Yeah, like, yeah that was it. I only saw it online. But online, but online probably different than the newspaper. Mm -hmm. But the was newspaper. the picture was the picture in the newspaper? Yep. The yeah, the front page. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see that. I only saw it online because yeah. I, I was already at work by that, but I just want to commend your people for, for doing a great job and being used as a good example. Um, and I'm not going to get involved in the legislation with, with you guys. So. Hey, instead of having the dog out there with that and you on the phone, at least you were out there at the sign cover. It was, it was, it was you, right? It it was wasn't. Was it? Oh, wasn't it you? It was Chip. Oh, Chip. Okay. Oh, that was Chip's picture. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to look a little careful. But I do it right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you put eight on them. <laughs> no, it was, it was nice that they used yeah. it as, a, as a, All right. an example of how it's supposed to be done. So All right. you I, also, I commend you guys who do, do a great job. Right. I am. Also. Dennis. Um, I happen to know that Addison Industries doesn't use their own people to do GPSs. They use an alarm gun. And if you wish, uh, they've offered me the phone number of the guy that does it for them. If you want to know how much or whatever, why not? That's yeah. that's an industry. Thing. What is the number? They, I don't have it. Oh, I, I, don't know if <laughs> I can get it. Yeah. yeah, that'd be good. Will, did you look up the uh, last three months of the meeting? On the last, I just looked up the first one. It said seventy. Really? The last meeting. 
Oh, got the people watch it. They're clicking now. Yeah. Yeah. They're back to clicking. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what's good or bad. So. so so, one, so next through. month, when we're, since we're going to discuss the cameras, just double check, Ray, that the, the January, February, March, and then, of course, the one for April tonight, we'll have accurate figures, and those are the figures we'll go by. Okay? All right. I did, I have to admit, I did look at it, and I got, I didn't like looking at myself, yeah. so I'll have to look at it again. Anything else, folks, before we adjourn? Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, entertain a motion to adjourn at 727. Uh, so second. Okay. Uh, adjourn. Thank you. Great.